Now that is fresh. I had to get off. I was getting a little bit stiff. Oh, well, I mean, it sounds like you did get off. It was getting, it was getting <laughs> randy. What is up, Kilo crew, and welcome to today's video. Today, Randy and I are in Leeds, England, the home of the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Driving Miss Daisy himself. Beard meets food. How's it going, folks? He needs no introduction. But anyways, Randy and I are on our way to a place called, uh, what is it, the Greasy, the Greasy Pig, Pig, where we're going to be taking on a challenge called The Paralyzer. And we're doing a very kind of like rapid fire style food challenge, which uh, Mr. Beard Meets Food happens to be a veteran of. What did you think of The Paralyzer at The Greasy Pig? It was a long time ago. It's, it's a while since I've done it, but um, it's good. It was it's one of the better breakfasts that you'll do. But yeah, there's, it's a short, uh, short time limit. Mm. I'm, I want to. I want one of you guys to uh, to go, go get the record. You know, not the records really mean that much, but uh, I would love to see. It's you on our the first English okay. uh, breakfast of the trip too. Yeah. It actually is my first English yeah. breakfast of the trip. But anyways, as usual, I'll give you guys details at the Greasy Pig when the food arrives. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we even going? This place looks like a right, looks like a house. We are at uh, the Greasy Pig. Whoa, are you, are you okay there? These stairs are not the code. No, I don't I don't know that they are. Yeah. Hey, well, how's it go. going? Well, we've got oh. Hey, how's it going? Oh, this is really cool, man. This is a cool spot. Yeah, this is nice. This cool is great. There too. Oh, there's an Adams on here, huh? Let's take a look. Oh, we got the Paralyzer Challenge. Finish it under 12 and it is free. Sounds like a good gig. Oh. oh, thank goodness I'm hungry. 12 minutes. Those are some massive toast slices. What is this, a piece of, this is an entire cake. <laughs> to be on the board. To, oh, I gotta beat Adam to stay on the board. All right, I like it. All right, well, Kilo Crew, the Paralyzer Challenge has arrived here in front of me at the Greasy Pig, and uh, I'm going to have only 12 minutes to finish everything that you see in front of me, which includes four massive double C thick slices of toast that are insane, and they are extra crispy as well. It also includes four hash browns, four sausages, four rashers of bacon, four eggs, a massive black pudding. We have some mushrooms, a little pot of beans, and then a little uh, pot of tomatoes as well. If I'm successful, I do get the meal for free. Uh, hopefully to make it on the board, I actually have to beat 641 set by Mr. Adam, Mr. Beard Meets Food. And if I want to take the overall record, I do have to finish this in under six minutes and five seconds, which was a time set by Kyle V Food. So hopefully uh, I can get somewhere on the board at least. If not, 12 minutes is the overall uh, uh, time cap for this challenge so hopefully we're able to do that but as per usual there ain't nothing to it but to do it let's pull our hair back and get this challenge started no we have had a few girls that completed one girl's completed it which didn't make the bar uh, okay so if, you, if you do complete you will be the first girls to go on the bar okay, okay that would be grand 12 minutes on the clock or six minutes and five seconds for the record one two three Let's eat us a breakfast. Here we go. Ooh, let's start with the toast. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Nothing makes me smile and laugh like a good piece of toast, but what is up, Kilo Crew? And welcome to this video where I finally, as you guys always want, shut up and eat some food. And I really had a lot of eating to do here. Even though this is supposed to be four pieces of toast, they have admitted that it's actually an entire loaf of bread. Mm. I was super thankful to have that house made maple syrup on the side there. It was on the thinner side, so it helped to soften up the bread quite a lot because as you can imagine, toast that's been sitting around for a while does tend to get a bit crispy and chewy. You can talk if you'd like, you don't have to be silent. <laughs> it always gives me a good giggle when my eating turns the environment into stunned silence. Soften these up. Oh, wait. Yeah, these toast pieces got awfully crunchy, so uh, you could almost do some ASMR with these pieces. Huh. Oh, good. <laughs> good for sure, as I've mentioned, but I knew it was taking me a while to get through, so I started working on some of those stewed tomatoes to help get the bread down as well. Two and a half minutes. Mm. 
I was super thankful for those time shout outs by Randy because with the timer facing the camera instead of myself, I'm kind of unable to see where I'm at time wise. So I was able to kind of pace myself and uh, use that as part of my strategy when it came to smacking down all this food here. So I'm just finishing up the toast right here. It looks like mopping up some more of that delicious maple syrup. And then it is on to those eggs next, which went, went down in basically one bite. So I was really thankful that those uh, kind of slurped down, especially with the assistance of some maple syrup, as weird of a flavor combo as that sounds. And that was the last of the eggs there. And I started working on all of those mushrooms and then on into the hash browns. I was kind of saving these sausages for last as I knew they would be hot. So kind of went opposite mode here, eating the carbs first, but I thought it was a pretty decent strategy and the hash browns were delicious. She's doing great. Four minutes and 27 seconds. And that was it for the hash browns. So here I am on to those pieces of bacon, which are the thick cut kind and are kind of chewy and rough to get through fast. 514. Come on. Come on, you got it. And with that last shout out, I was feeling very confident in my time. I was nearly done with the bacon, only had a little bit of those tin baked beans left and then those four sausages. So I was pretty confident that I was just gonna smash through the end of this at this point. So you can see me kind of chugging the beans down and uh, here's where things get a little weird. Doing great, Five, 549. Ooh, look at that slurping down the final bits of those fiber filled baked beans and uh, on to sausage. Ooh, hot. Six, ten. Oh, 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 sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about oh, that. Fuck. Oh, oh, hot. <laughs> that was very hot. All right. Oh, that, oh, that was a bad idea. Dang. Well, I don't think I'm beating Adam. That's hot. Ooh. <laughs> wow. You gotta include that in the video. Mm. <laughs> it was unexpected for me too. Damn. Thank goodness for the power of editing and bleeping those bits out, but it was so hot I literally had grease blisters. No, it's grease. Oh, that was hot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, kids. <laughs> <laughs> I do apologize for my uh, colorful choice in language, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video anyways. I will catch you all in the next one. All right, Kilo Crew, final bite. Mm. Well, that certainly was not the record. <laughs> and I had a few choice words about how hot those sausages were, uh, which I will hopefully be remembering to bleep out of the edit. But uh, that was absolutely delicious. And I actually don't mind not getting the record at all because it was so delightful. Either way, I do get the meal for free. I may not get a spot up on the wall of fame here, but it is still technically a victory for finishing it in under the 12 minutes. My final time ended up being seven minutes and 21 seconds here for the Greasy Pig Paralyzer. <laughs> I am sweating like a greasy pig right now, but <laughs> a big thank you to the greasy pig staff for having Randy and I in today. It was a, a whole lot of fun. So ugh. if you were ever in the Leeds, England area, swing on by the greasy pig. It's in like a really cool, like it almost looks like a house sort of space. And it has like a whole bunch of really neat paintings around and everything. And uh, I guess people try this challenge nearly every day. So I think there's probably been a lot of fails. Do you have like an idea of how many like fails there've been? Most of the time the fails. Most of the time. So yeah. like daily for how yes. many years? We've done it since 2014, so we've done this challenge for about eight years now. Eight yes. years times 365? Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> okay, so a lot of people have tried and failed this thing, so yeah, that, that is amazing. So mad props to the Greasy Pig. Obviously, their food is great, so this place is uh, definitely a destination spot for breakfast uh, or other, other meals of the day. But a big thank you again for watching. If you haven't liked this video, please like it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Okay, peace out. Bye. Woo! Woo! I am so sticky from that delicious. I feel like I feel like a, a pine tree at this point. True to form, I have to enjoy a little bit of dessert after a challenge. So I got a Biscoff shake, which looks delightful, courtesy of Greasy Pig. So a little Biscoff shake action. Double C thick. I approve. I'm gonna be enjoying this while I watch Randy go. He's he's currently going in a different way right now before he has to start. So yeah, as usual. Catch you guys in the next one.